Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Today we're gonna learn about Christmas Lighting 101. If you are new to the world of extreme holiday decorators, but you want an animated computerized Christmas light show, there are some things that you need to know, some basic terms, some basic products that you probably are going to be unfamiliar with. So as you dive into the Christmas light forums on Facebook and everywhere else, you will need to know what the terminology means that everyone's talking about, like what's a Beagle Bone Black, what's a Pocket Beagle, what's ACN, what's DMX, what's unicasting, what's multicasting. There's a lot of different things you need to know. We're gonna dive all into that right now. There are three standard lights you can use for your Christmas light show. First one is what everybody already knows, the AC standard string of Christmas lights. AC simply stands for alternating current. You plug the lights in, they are whatever color the bulb is. Then you have your LED lights. LED lights are extremely efficient. The LED stands for light emitting diode. Instead of having a bulb, as you do in your AC or incandescent lights, you simply have the light emitting diode. They're energy efficient and they are much more bright than your standard string of AC Christmas lights. Then you have your pixel lights. Pixel lights are individually color changeable lights, which are all wired together. This is unlike their regular Christmas lights or even dumb LED lights that only change by the whole strand. Dumb LED lights are just that. They are whatever color they turn on to be. Smart LED lights are programmable and you can change every individual diode. Beagle Bone Black is a low cost community supported development platform for developers and hobbyists. Boot Linux under 10 seconds and get started on development in less than five minutes with just a single USB cable. It is used as the base operating systems on controllers or to run your show. A Pocket Beagle is an ultra tiny yet completely open source USB key fob computer. The Falcon Pi Player is a lightweight, optimized, feature rich sequence player designed to run on low cost SCBs, that's single board computers. It was originally created to run on the $35 Raspberry Pi, hence the middle P and the short name also works with Beagle Bone Black. A power injection is nothing more than adding additional power to a string of lights from a different power supply at a point in which the voltage drops start to affect the lights. Power balancing is nothing more than adding additional power to a string of lights. Same power supply at the point at which the voltage drops starts to affect the lights. Multicasting is a set of data sent across a computer network to many users at the same time. Uh, DHCP assigns the IP address automatically in this format. Unicasting is the transmission of a data package or audiovisual signal to a single recipient. In essence, unicasting is one source going to one data point. Broadcasting is a source going to every data point. And multicasting is one source going to multiple data points. Frames per second or FPS is used as a measure frame rate. The number of consecutive full screen images that are displayed each second. E131, also called streaming ACM, is a protocol for sending DMX512 data over the ACN, also known as the E131. It is expected to become the new standard for transporting DMX over an IP address. Uh, this is replacing protocols such as ArtNet and ShowNet. The simplest way to think about E131 is that it is a way to transport a large number of lighting control channels over the traditional Ethernet network connection. DMX, digital multiplex if you will, is a standard for digital communication networks that are commonly used to drive lighting and stage equipment. 512 channels per universe is standard for DMX. Platform is a major piece of software, such as an operating system, an operating environment, or database under which various smaller application programs can be designed to run. Hopefully you now know a few things you didn't know before. So as you dive into your world of extreme Christmas light hobbyists, and you may have questions, join us on Discord. The link's down in the video's description below. So it's a group of like-minded Christmas light hobbyists kind of like a forum but it's really more of a chit chat if you need a quick answer we're on there for you join us on discord it's time to start decorating it's time to learn what you need you can always join us on patreon if you like what you see here today and you want to support the show 
Link is also down in the video's description. And while you're here, subscribe to the channel. We do this year round. In fact, we are the only weekly show about the Christmas light hobby. Join us and hopefully you learned something. I'm Charlie. We'll see you in the next video.